Let him hate you. Let him. You gotta understand, the haters is a marketing team. But the only thing you gotta do when the haters come, okay, Lord, you, you gotta, gotta the funk joint, like on the Chris Brown. Billy Rock let on low hate. joint. Haters Hold on. Do you Billy hate. Rock on low joint? Let him hate. Hey, let him hate. The hey, Billy Rock is the Billy Rock backwards. Hey, let him hate. Hey, let him hate. Hey, let him hate. Hey, let him hate. Hey, haters is your marketing team. I used to be a hater. So I know that haters is your marketing team. Because when I was a hater, there was certain individuals that I just kept talking about, talking about, talking about, talking about, talking about. Hey. No, because I had some things going on with myself. I had to connect with the things that was inside of me that said, Oh, why are you worrying about these people so much? You know, I had Let insecurities, I had fears. That's why I was hating on these people. That's why people hate on you. But think about it you got people working every day for you. Let them work. Haters is your marketing. Let them hate. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're now tuned into me, 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 me. Million dollars worth of game on Wilder 267. That was the, you know, the classic, all Hold the up. platinum single, Haters is Your Marketing Team by Wilder 267. You know and what I mean? Song, I would never stop. You a hater. In the song you said, I used to hate. No, if you want to hate, you always talking, a hater. You hate ass nigga. Hating. I'm just saying, I ain't never hated him. I'm not saying it like it was me. I'm Fuck just saying. Fuck you talking about. I, at one time, I was a hater. This right? is brought to you. Million dollars worth of game is brought to you by Bar Two Sports. Fuck right over shit. here. Uh, don't call me white girl, but I call a white girl because you look like a white girl. Tony the Tackler and, the and this dude right here, uh, of Philadelphia. No, you fuckers, you wrong. You little neighbor. You do is be you a neighbor. <laughs> Everything about all your success is neighborhood shit. It's nut. You a cold nut. Have a bigger hit right now, bro. Huh? Might have the biggest hit right now. Yeah, oh, yo, oh, between me and him, yeah. yeah, yeah hey, this is your marketing out. team. It's a bigger. That's bigger than any of your fucking records. I'm fucking wrong with you. First of all, <laughs> first of all, you come on top of some. I used to be a hater. I was hating on niggas. Why your no, sneaks clean? About... Why you got that new jacket on? Yo, no. you's a fucking hater, dog. <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? No, I ain't I'm never saying, hated I'm on saying, a nigga. I'm saying how the fuck as, you acknowledge you was a hater? It's a sarcastic. I used way. to be a hater, and I'm talking about how haters you who still they be hate on. You be hating on me, you nut ass nigga. No, you nut ass neighborhood hit. My this shit bigger than yours. Episode. My record's bigger than his. Oh, yeah, right. This episode of me 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 and uh, it's sponsored by New Amsterdam Vodka. Mm -hmm. New Amsterdam Vodka was born from uncompromising passion, great vodka, this commitment to excellence. New Amsterdam Vodka produced vodka that, with a superb taste and unparalleled smoothness. It's 80 proof vodka from some of the finest quality grains from America's heartland. It's distilled five times. It's also filtered three times for a nice, cream, clean, crisp finish. You could drink New Amsterdam vodka straight up. You could drink it with a juice or soda. You could drink it on the rocks. Or you could make the, the you know, the famous New Amsterdam mule. New Amsterdam vodka is the official vodka for barstool sports. So next time you stop past the um, liquor store, make sure you pick up some new amsterdam vodka shout out to the um the naq the new amsterdam queen two yeah we got new amsterdam vodka all through the crib she loved making cocktails with that with the new amsterdam vodka so shout out to the naq before two. we before we go into this episode of million dollars river game shout out to everybody out there doing things within the community doing things on the front line rabbits you know uh my man mel wells one day at a time philadelphia uh, you got until freedom. Uh, you know Tamika Mallory, my sign up there, in New York. Uh, Sean King. You got, you got people all over. You got uh, Trade the Truth, man. First Trade of all, truth. man, I want to give a big, a huge shout out to Trade the Truth, man. Always putting it down because you know to come from what we come from, you know the gutter. You know, at one time Trade Truth was out here, you know, punching motherfuckers in the face at awards and shit like all that. Crazy you shit. know what I mean? Yeah, he you did. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 
in front of their mama enjoying? and shit. Now y'all like crazy God, stuff. Damn, Trey, man. Trey was crazy. <laughs> Tracy, why are you doing? Fuck Trey but the punching in front of his mama and The shit. whole thing is shout out to all the nonprofits and all that stuff, doing right. stuff in the Terrence community. Jones. Everybody out here doing doing stuff out here. Uh, right. I want to say shout out also Philadelphia. There's an organization called... Uh, uh, as we plant the seed, you got a uh, Nomo that's doing things for the kids. Shout out to them. Shout out to anybody in the community that's doing things any across the world, wherever you're doing. Right. And, you know, it ain't it ain't nothing you're doing can be too small. You know, people think, oh, right. you ain't doing nothing. No, people, anything you're doing to help somebody else in your community is a great thing. Just keep doing your thing, man. You got hey, anybody? Man, we got you at uh, Killer Mike. He, oh, yeah. He, I can't he, forget my man, Killer Mike. Heavy, heavy Killer Mike. Mm -hmm. uh, you my got, man. Uh, the boy Phil Agnew putting in big, big work right now. Mm -hmm. It really front lines with it. Um, uh man, uh we say Sean King. Sean yeah. King uh definitely heavy heavy with the uh the awareness for everybody. I think awareness is something using using your platform. grassroots. We mm -hmm. talked about that earlier, man. Just the putting yourself out there the, on the level that Sean does, man, it's crazy. Um and then I don't want to forget yeah, Michelle Alexander. Uh Michelle Alexander came out with the new uh the new Jim Crow. Uh, which which is real real yeah, strong too. Yeah, we was in prison for that. She came up to yeah. our prison too. Greatest for what I was saying. And it's imperative that we shot, you know, these people out, man, because, you know, these are people from all walks of life. You know what I'm saying? All got different backgrounds. Growing up, you know, everybody didn't come from the gutter. Everybody didn't. You know, some people grew up in the suburbs. Some people grew up middle class. Some people grew up, you know what I'm saying, with with families that got money, but we all, you know, fighting and working under mm -hmm. the same, you feel, you know what I mean, for the same cause. You feel what I'm saying? And it's, it's for for minorities, it's for, you know, uh, helping out people, you know what I'm saying, that's, that's, that's underprivileged and that, you know, that don't got much. And it's, you know, and I, I salute all of y'all, man, that's on that front line. Everybody, and I really, I really, me? You know I did a speech. Did oh, yeah, you see she, my speech? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. White girl's a part-time activist. Shout out to her. Mona right. X. She doing. I have another speech Mona coming X. up July the 27th. Mm. Malcolm X's daughter. This is series of going against prison reform. I've always wanted to go Talk to get it. into prison reform. I've, I've been in jail. I've been um, racially profiled in jail. I've been sexually harassed in jail by people that work Holy, there. Took them, yeah, shout out to reform too. Yeah, shout Nobody. out to Meek Mill and uh, the fact that the he's whole smiling reform. and asked me was I raped in jail is like, does anybody <laughs> well, notice that he's a creep? Cookies, like. Nobody <laughs> took the cookies, but it's rough in jail. And you figure here in the United States, we have more people jailed than anywhere else in the whole continent. So don't we care how those people are being treated? Half the people in there are innocent. They didn't even get to the trial portion of the um, law system yet because you're supposed to be innocent until proven guilty. So we're doing a, another rally in Wilmington, Delaware, July the 27th on prison reform. So y'all could come out if you would like to and join me Mona X because I am now an activist fellas okay, Mona, okay, shout out to Mona. Terrence Jones from the NAACP Delaware chapter he's getting police officers arrested we talking action right now okay, okay. that's right Mona all right so anybody that see this man make sure you know y'all follow all of these people on Instagram you know and y'all just stay in tune with what they got going on because they really out here on the front line man working for the people man and I think that you know a lot of people who um you know lose their lives and you know you know they they get shown the proper amount of you know love and respect and but i i, I be feeling like you know some of these people who really be on the front line and and really trying to get justice for the people who's going through these you know injustices they don't really get the credit that they deserve so, man, shout out to all the people that we just named. You know what I'm saying? And we appreciate y'all, man. We appreciate y'all from Thanks, the bottom guys. of our heart. Million dollars worth of game. Supports everything you guys are doing. And, uh, man, we just want to send our, our love and our blessings to all of the people that we just shouted out. And if we forgot you, we, we apologize because we ain't perfect. And, you know, we it's don't lot, know. It's we, a lot of people, though. There's a lot of people. There's a lot of people. You know, and we don't know everybody that's out here frontlining it for the culture for the people but we want to give our love and our blessings to y'all as well if we didn't mention you thank you so you know what i'm saying yeah, i represent all of us and okay. say thank you yeah cool mona fucking x mona x or mona luther king okay. either way no no that's, but wallow, I'm definitely more that's wallow luther king and mona x yeah because i'm definitely with the but she said if you got arm the bag yourselves. right she could be mona sex 
No, she didn't no, say that. <laughs> this nigga's a creep. This dude's a loser right here. <laughs> <laughs> a historical loser. I got a bigger record than him. He mad. It's <laughs> blowing up out here. You the first nigga out of record talking on it. AD rapping. Let <laughs> your haters be your motivators. Hey, hey, that was the easiest fucking it. album ever. He just turned the beat on. It was an EP talking. actually. It's track. motivation. It's workout music. What you music. doing? Get up. You still laying down, nigga, don't rob or nothing. Still laying down in the bed. Why are you in the bed? Get up. You should be eating breakfast by now. You should be ready to go on the hey, job. Look, haters is your marketing Wait, team. Haters is your marketing I'm team. He's marketing me right now. I'm, right. I'm just saying. It's a hell of a motivational joint. But haters that's the, is your marketing that's team. That's the first album where the nigga don't, the nigga don't rhyme. Did you ever heard an album where the nigga don't rhyme? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking. Haters is your marketing team. <laughs> I'll just ask you because you ever heard an no, album. the first one, bro. All right. So he even setting the bar for that. Like no nigga, I put out an album. I, I wasn't got rhyming. A, I was talking. It's, it's, I ain't got a rhyme. My shit they ain't got a rhyme. You feel what I'm saying? Legend. <laughs> All right. If y'all was on vacation, right? You go on vacation. You ain't really supposed to be there, but they your woman took you along because you gonna pay for the shit. You paying? She got you went on vacation with her and a bunch of her girlfriends. Y'all got the big ass super condo joint. You wake up. Y'all, everybody drunk. You wake up. One of your girl, one of your lady girlfriends is. She topping you off. She giving you the scoliosis. I'm talking <laughs> about the ultimate hot mouth. It's crazy. You wake. You come about your sleep. You like. Mm -mm -mm. What you doing? Because I'm keeping it all the way real. I'm pressing charges on a bitch for sexual assault. Good me and two going down. I can, there see, me I can, <laughs> me I can see me now. I can. Me too. I can see me now, Tom. Good for you. Me. I can see me now. <laughs> Tom, this how to be, Tom. Get off me, stop. Why is you doing this to me? This is wrong. You should not be touching this. Baby, get up. You I've forgot been the one tear coming been, listen, down. He gonna I've cry. I've been taken advantage of. Why is you doing this to me? I did not deserve and it. And then here comes the Baltimore bomber to listen, beat her listen, ass. I'll be like, I did not deserve it. But Gil the type of boy, right? This is how he gonna do it. I did this, not deserve This is how he gonna do He gonna He gonna peep that it's not her and do like this. Look. <laughs> and play like he didn't see that it's not her. Hey, fuck out of here. Me too. He misses. Fuck, fuck, <laughs> fuck out of here. I'm in the bitch with a body shot. Get off me. Mona, what you going to do? If another dude is. was topping you. That on. is rape. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, rape. Yeah, I'm pressing yeah. charges. I'm, I'm weak and too, though. We take you get the bitch book. Yeah. <laughs> bitch rape me. She raped Seriously, you. told me. You got to go all the way. Because let me just tell you something. If I. And listen. If, uh, if, first of all. What she look like? Is she bad? Is she, is she ain't good fucking head, me good up. Head or bad head? Your wife friend? Your sis? Not, to, Tony is slimy nigga. See the truth coming out. <laughs> yeah, that's why really she did tight. tone like that. To tone and bitch. That's what more and more. Life no, that's why she did tone like that. Tone baked her girlfriends, didn't you? Nah, bro. You never nah. you you nah. baked nah. none of her friends. Nah, I don't do that, bro. Never. 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 Let me ask you a question. Have you ever dealt with a girl in your life and you baked one of her friends? Nah. Uh-uh. You. Who, me? <laughs> I, I, I didn't hear the question. You, Wallow. Have you ever fucked one of your girlfriend friends? I was waiting for this. You's a rat. Have you ever fucked one of your girlfriend friends? What's the answer? I say he a rat. That's Have all I'm you saying. ever fucked one no of comments. your girlfriend friends? Come on, no comments. Come on, Lewski. Come on, Lewski. We didn't fucking plead the fifth. I'm Nigga, this a million dollars worth of fucking game. We don't plead the fifth no, on here. I, I don't understand the question. That's okay. what Have you ever had have sex? Have you ever been in a relationship? Or not even a relationship. Okay, have you ever been fucking with this girl? Y'all cool. Y'all ain't got to be in no, no deep ass relationship, but you, you fuck with her. Y'all fuck with each other, and you blazed her girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and you know, you Gil set him up. Gil's a rat. Let's just tell the story. That was fellas. a setup question. Gilly spit it all out. Yeah, he bleeds the shit out. It was one of his bitches' girlfriends back in the day. And he got caught. He, she found out. Yeah, yeah, I mean, then what's, <laughs> what's so fucked up? He told some yeah. Yeah, what's so fucked up about it, though, is this was fucked up about <coughs> the, the The girlfriend looked better. Always. Than his shorty. See, his Looks shorty is not always his, the best. No, 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 no. His shorty was more. Choice. His shorty was a little slim, Jim. But the other one was developed more. You know what I mean? His shorty was a. She was like a, a little C class Benz, 
and the other one was big body big body bitch. okay yeah i mean he left the big body for the little body you know what i mean sometimes you got to trade up you know what i'm saying he traded up that's all because have you ever had sex with your girlfriend friends nah i okay. haven't either because because honestly you he lying. honestly I swear to God, honestly he'll tell you i had a nigga on one thing though. about me i'm up front with a motherfucker I always been brutus, brutally up front and honest you? with a motherfucker. Yeah, like, wouldn't no, even we think. Just, it wouldn't even we think. Just, we just, we fucking like, what the fuck you talking about? Just saying. Like, I, I was a young nigga that tell bitch, listen, bitch, you never going to be my main squeeze. Mm -mm. That ain't going to never happen. So either you, either we going to just do what we doing because, uh, bitch, you got bodies. By these bitch, that's fucking plural. You know what's crazy? They do to be so quick to talk about the bodies that chick got, but they they say it in a judgmental way. Oh, you got bodies, or you a whore? Well, if she got bodies, is she a whore? Why you want? Why you want some of it? Why well, well, want you mean? Because I, look, look, why I you want, want some of it? Like, no, 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 no. There's a difference between what the bitch it don't make sense. No, it shit make a lot of sense. It's a different. So, as a man, you ain't never seen a bitch that you know is an ultra whore. You like, I blaze the shit out that bitch, but I ain't. I take the bitch for the night. I ain't taking the bitch for life. Exactly. What exactly. you talking about? I sting your ass like a bee for the night. Here he goes. I strike you strike look you. like a bee. That's, That's crazy. Cool. I strike Gilly the bee. The fuck out of here. I strike you like lightning, bitch, but I ain't life in you, bitch. Is you kidding me? Fuck is you talking about? It's a bunch of fucking s'mores out here that if a nigga wasn't in a relationship, a nigga, a, yeah, a nigga would strike the bitch. I might even like the bitch, <laughs> but I ain't going to wife the bitch. But what bitch. if you fall Fuckers in love? But what if you fall? So if you fall in love with her, you won't fight your own no, 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 feelings. No, 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 The way I'm designed, I can't fall in love with a motherfucker. You fucking lie. You fell in love with the stripper chick up here yeah, back in the day. The fuck you know what I'm talking about. That was, that was before I was in tune with my feelings. Uh, was yeah, that. yeah. That was, oh, that, was, that, was, that was before I was in You was on her top. That was before I knew who I was. Listen, from Germany to Avenue. Back in the day. The one next to the white. Listen, listen, listen. The one next to the white. He used to steal jury out of the joint he used to work at back in the day. He just takes some little. You, he told your business. He told your business. Do it, Wallow. He told your business. He told your business. He told your business. He told your business. Spit that shit out. He told your fucking business. Gilly held the mic. Gilly like he sweating that mic. Gilly held the mic. He magically. It was the stripper. Gilly said, "Don't do it." He dead serious. Gilly begging him, please, please don't do it. No, I ain't gonna say that. It was the stripper chick. I ain't gonna say that. What is that but club called? I can't remember. Studio. No, studio. 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 It it's was studio. a stripper, right? Why are you bringing up Moet? Moet. Why it was Moet, though. No, no, that no, was, that's, that's later. later. Watch your flag. The old dudes. The okay, old, dudes. Okay, listen, old listen. ass niggas. At the end of the day, listen, at the end of the day, Moet. it was a stripper chick. That's when I was out here, Moet. It was a stripper chick. I used to hang in Moet. Oh, that's where you were shaking ass? I ain't shaking my ass. I sat with Cherry. I would sit with Cherry while she shook her ass. Shout out to Cherry Bomb. I used to shake your ass. I used to sit with Cherry Bomb when she shook her ass, and I used to take a little third. Oh, you was, so you a and I brought the 38 you up there because y'all no, jumped No, 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 no. You was a conspiracy. The bitches at Moet jumped Cherry Bomb. I went up there with the 38 because I was going to blow one of them bitches That's the Cherry. That's how they do it. You got what you wear? I wore regular clothes. No, you got conspiracy. The shit. You got conspiracy. The I stripping. have never then stopped that. But stopped I'm just saying, that. if you owner. want to strip it, she's stripping. Relax. You got conspiracy. If, if I'm with a robber and he robbing, I got conspiracy. I was the right. bitch with the so gun. So you're a conspiracy stripper. I was yep, the security. I was big as shit. You I was a security. What's that got to do with that? Ain't no big girl strip clubs in Philadelphia. Shit, this is man. That's shit. in DC. Shout out to big girls in DC. But back to what I was saying, white girl. This is what happened. It was a stripper named Stocky. Like tell us business. It was a stripper named Stocky. Like Rocky work at Onyx. Listen. Is this, listen, listen. <laughs> at the end of the day, Gil, listen. Stripper chick. Every Why time we bust a move, shit, bro, just tell it. He pulling a hole. I got to stop right here. What you stopping there for? Why are you he bringing the shit? money off in checks. You all right? Hold on. Let me go get the cheese steak. I go to Max's. Let me get it. Don't the nobody eat that shit. I'm he talking was, about back then. Yeah, he was up there for her. That was back then. He, no, he dropped. No, this one, Max's first open. Oh. So these we, niggas we old, old we for real. Jeans. So listen. We taking the Jones. He's telling me he's getting the food. Buying it. No, I gotta get us some Reeboks. This back when he's wearing the soft top, hard top, double strap Reeboks. This Reeboks. is back in the day. So he got he got to get us some Reeboks. For everybody don't know, for all the women they wear the, the she like she wear the uh the she the she herbos. But back in the day they used to wear the soft yes, the soft, soft top, hard top Reeboks with the double strap. For all you all different colors. Take, all listen, different colors. If you fly, you can take it back and bring that B back, ladies. But you listen, can wear them red right back now. Back to what I'm red saying. Him, he keep going. You know, I gotta get us some Reeboks. I'm getting. He he was doing a lot of shit. 
that you don't do if you just fucking a stripper. So you did fall in love with a lady of the night. From fucking studio. See, that's, that. before, that's before I knew who I was. Not bro. Delilah's studio. Like, that's the bottom she was of lady the barrel of the night, so strip stop club. Front like you just this Mac and tough guy. For oh, the people at home, that's the strip no, club the where they the got day, bullet holes and shit. At the end of the shit. day, I got to where I'm at because of experience. All right. Oh, right. Well, well, let's get to this, fellas. You did fall fellas, in love with a stripper. Word to T-Pain. Hold up, hold up. Fellas, are you prepared? Are you, are you prepared for summertime? You know why? I'm asking you this. You've been in quarantine. You was doing your thing. Now it's time to get with my people over there at manscaped.com. Mm. You've been walking around the crib. You're scratching. Your stuff is not where it need to be at. Right now is the time for you to get with manscaped.com, right? Go get you some of them they lawnmower. Go get you lawnmower. a lawnmower. Listen, go get you a lawnmower. Go get the perfect package. The 3.0 kit mm. comes with the essential lawnmower 3.0 waterproof cordless body trimmer, right? <laughs> Tons of liquid, I mean, formalized, you know, all the f- liquid stuff that you put on yourself, I mean, to round out your manscaping. Mm. Sound effects. Mm. Now, and you clean yourself up. You want your chest hair clean. You want your, your junk clean. You want your whole thing clean. Like, he, Gil, Gil liked to shave his legs, right? He was putting magic <laughs> shave. What? You shave your legs. They told me April gave you a, they told me April gave you a streak. Uh, you uh, lying uh, on me. Uh, uh, you like to shave all the way down to your ass. She, she, she shaped you up. <laughs> That's I'm just Listen, telling you what April said. Like like Gil the type of dude, he like to shave the point <laughs> the point to 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 his landing. You know he he had Pause. A strip. No, he got a landing strip though. <laughs> Damn. No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But listen, manscaped.com, you want to get with them. They're giving out the package, man. You want to get. They got the They got the crop retrieve. They got revisor. They got the, the crop cleaner. They got everything. I'm talking about the crop I'm preserver. I'm talking about everything that you want. Manscaped got all the ointment, everything that you need to be able to clean yourself right and take care of yourself on another level. I'm talking about subscribe to the perfect package and get a new blade refill for the lawnmower trimmer delivered to your door every three months. For limited time, Manscaped. subscribe. Get two free gifts. You know what I mean? You get two mm. free gifts, they right? They're giving out stuff, too? Huh? They're giving out stuff, Patent too. There's a high performance reduce chafing. The boxes. I got, you know what I mean? The Manscaped Jones. They're my favorite Jones. You know what I'm saying? I use it. Listen, I ain't, listen. You, you, you see? That's too much. Too much. Manscaped. You see it? I got them on right now. These are drawers he's talking about. Manscaped. You see what I'm talking about? White girl. I got the drawers on right now. They, they hook you up. They feel good. They feel great. Make you just feel like you ain't got nothing on. You know what I mean? That, that's my left. thing. But listen, get 20% off and free shipping <laughs> with the, listen, <laughs> when you use the code MILLION at manscaped.com. Listen, 20% off and free shipping when you use the code MILLION at manscaped.com. Do yourself a favor and always use the right food tools for the job. Let me ask you a question. How many niggas in jail you showed your drawers to? Look, I, I got on hands. Look, fellas. I didn't do that. You can't no. just be pulling your fucking drawers out around men. Well, I got on hands. Look, fellas. Hands. Hands. I got on fruit of balloons. How many times you did that in jail? I never done that. Hmm? All right, just for the record, we want to know right now. Fuck it. <laughs> if you want to know right now, and you're sitting at home, throw your thumb up like this. And I know it's motherfuckers all over the country with they thumb up right now. We want to fucking know who was the nigga to rip your jump off in the cell? Ain't nobody ripped my jump off. I told you it was a miscommunication <laughs> about what happened. I'm, be, I told, don't, I'm not even going to revisit the story. But How when they get in the cell, you and a nigga in the same jumper? Well, I thought he ripped the jump off. <laughs> he ripped, put himself in it and you in it. What happened is we was, we was tussling and when he grabbed my jumper, it ripped and I, and I just came out of it. And I just was rumbling for my life. That's it. Ball no swinging. Draws? No, no, no. I had my draws on. Okay. Draws in my, my uh, prison boots. Okay. Let me ask y'all a question. So, if your woman went on a relationship, I mean, on a vacation, right, with all of her girlfriends, you wasn't there. <laughs> and she had a sex compete with all her girlfriends. How you feeling when she get back? I'm going to be mad at the motherfucker that you ain't bring me. You knew this shit was going on at a party, and you ain't invite me to the shindig? You fucking crazy. What do you mean a sex cabbie? What do you mean? Her and her girlfriends was in there, you know. They was in there. Having sex with each other? Yes, they was in there tearing it the fuck up. Oh, yeah, I'm jealous. They I was need to be in there. I'm just mad because I wasn't you know, there. That's yeah, not be cheating. In that. That's cheating. Yeah, I'm mad that as shit. Yeah, I'm gone. That's cheating. Yes. I'm the fuck yeah. out. That's cheating, Gilly. Exactly. You could do better uh, that, than that. that I'm the fuck oh, out. What you mean you're going? I'm lady on lady. You they was licking each other? Yes, I'm gone. I'm lady on lady not cheating to me. No, because let me just tell you this. Because that means how many other times y'all have been together? Exactly. So every time, so now I'm thinking, oh, yeah, me and such and such going on. No, no, you ain't. You're going to go bump carpets. I know what the fuck going on. 
What type of carpets? Uh, per- coochie carpets. I think coochie carpets. Oh. Yeah, I mean the CCs. I would say right. with the younger generation, girls my age, me and my besties get dressed around each other, spend a night, we never get freaky. You younger bitches, you 90 baby bitches, y'all eat each other's coochies. Shout out to y'all. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, I don't know about that. I've been on live with y'all, and y'all tell how you tongue kiss your bestie and eat your bestie's coochie. It's, it's pretty wild. I don't know. But you keep talking about you dying to just go here. I do. The, I the, do want to be a the, lesbian. That's a whole other thing. I'm not going to fuck my bestie. That's weird. And then you talking about, he said girl on girl is not cheating until this bitch leave you for a bitch they call Bruce that's named Brenda. Damn. Damn. Them, them, them. There's a lot of Bruce Brendas out here. Listen, them. There's a lot of Brenda Bruces. Are taking people bitches. I'm telling you. There's a lot of Brenda Bruces. And I mean Zykes with a Z, not the D, because the D, that's, that's like offensive. Zykes with a Z. You know, like I say, Stephanie. Zykes. So what is that? Stephanie is there. Mike and Zyke. Listen, cool. women, meet women, shack up with them. Them Zykes is taking care of kids. They playing daddy. Okay? They too, They taking pictures at Sears and shit with your son in the between. We don't need no, you. No, no, you, no, no. We Seriously. got Brenda. Mommy Brenda take care of me, nigga. Yes, them bitches be named Bruce, but their real name's Brenda. Call her shiz, but her name's Shaquita. They taking you bitches. They taking mm. your bitches, Tony. They taking them. Mm. Damn, they Tony. call it Charles, but a real name. Tony, tell me, Tony. Tony, Tony that shit ain't bitches. cool. Don't lie. Eat no coochie. They call it Charles with a real name, Sharon. No, by no, no, no way a man's head compares to a woman's. Let a woman eat your woman, kitty cat. You see if she want to. They can't see. fuck with me. I don't give a fuck what you talking ain't about. Ain't no fucking way. It's crazy as shit. Ain't no way. No, There's no way. No, 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 no. I will say this. I will say this. A, time, a the woman time, know listen, a no, woman. No, no. I, nah, fuck all that. The time he ate crack his show, pussy <laughs> in the basement, I said, this boy's a legend. She was screaming. I'm like, oh, nanny, shh, nanny upstairs. She screamed. Ah, ah, ah. I'm like, yo, man, shh, she's screaming. I'm like, yo, man, what the fuck? She dropped. The, I knew it was over because she dropped the crack pipe. That's just shat on the ground. Ah, ah. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Like, Shut up, nanny upstairs. Motherfucker was in the basement eating some cr- eat crack here. All I'm shit. saying is a woman know what a woman like just like a man like what a man know what a man like. Get the fuck okay. out of here. So you going to tell him? Nah, I ain't even going to. Listen, I'm saying. That shit you did I'm to Cheryl, a, I don't give a fuck what she said. Get the fuck out of here. What? I'm going to lie. The fucking man know it's what a cheating. man I'm like. I'm with Gilly. It's cheating. Don't let the that bitch you treat you about. like that. So what you trying to say about saying a man know what a man like? I'm saying that a lot of these men are giving each other hand jobs and dick sucks in the car. <laughs> no, it's the truth. No, these men are down low gay and y'all know it at home. Y'all oh. know it. Everybody bro, bro, bro it out. You don't want to be around no females. Never. Why? Huh? Why? Because you jerked your friend off. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> What the fuck? A man know what a man like. Ain't Too no man. Listen, a man suck off. you off. It's like a vacuum. Knock your socks off. Yo, she suck. What he suck the leather off that thing? <laughs> That's what a nigga do. Suck the leather off you. God Don't knock it. it till you try it. Oh my God, I'm done. Here at Million Dollars Every Game, we cool with the LGBTQZDE. Ain't that right, fellas? We are. Yeah, we ain't got no problem. We, we have no problem, but. Oh, nigga sucking on my dick. Right? <laughs> 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 hey, I'm, I'm over here like, I'm fucked up. I'm like, so, what's your, like, so when y'all think about it right you now, you have a lot of friends. Me, you're not going to tell me as a woman a lot that could eat the box like me. Fuck okay, that's a joke. This is what I'm saying to you. Out of, you guys I have a lot of I friends. I saw Tootie ass up last night. We're we have to get two on the line. Tootie is going through the course now. No, she ain't. Uh, fuck uh, what you talking about. No, 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 okay, Gilly. Okay, no, no. Wait, okay, no, no. King of no, Philly. No, first, uh, first, get first. down on the ground. <laughs> uh, you doing a good job. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Wait, no, no, no. Lay down, nigga. First of all, first of all, let me just say something. One thing that never lie. <laughs> here you go with these. Here you go with all this deep dumb shit. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. The bottom line is when you put in a certain type of workload, you it don't never lie to you. One thing that never lies, that snore. Melatonin. When you when, Thank you. When you she be like this. When you when you she faking. When you when you tch, Let me tell you something. When you little guy, he's a little guy, he got a he got a complex. Little no, 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 complex. No, no, no. When you eat them scrambled eggs, 
Yeah, me with she the cheese. She got the same exact scream every time. Ah, ah, the, get down on the ground. No, no, no. See, that's how you know. That's how you know. You know that's how Let you me know. get him out of the way. See, that's how you know Wallow ain't putting no work in. Because, Lo, when you doing what Please. needs to be done. I hate it. A bitch ain't going to never scream. I hate it here. Bitch is never going to scream when you do it. Who was he screaming that time I was sleeping when I used to sleep on your couch? When you, when, <laughs> when, when you do it. Uh, hold on, white girl. Am I telling the truth? When you doing what need to be done, a bitch ain't never screaming. Even if the dick too much for her. A bit, when, when you hit a bitch with a dick that's too much for her, <laughs> she, she don't scream. Yeah, she she go. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I give him that one. I'm just telling you from it's what I heard. It's more of a silent thing. It's this more of a, this silent. dick is in my liver. <laughs> you don't hit a bitch liver. She talking about, ah. No, she talking about, like, when you get burnt, you don't fucking scream. Ah. No, I you did. go. I did. That's how nanny. That's how that shit. I did. That's how nanny knew I was burning. No. Because when I'm I went to go. You talking about fire, uh, motherfucker. Oh, fire. I'm just saying. God I screamed. Damn. I took a piss. That shit was like, this shit all. Oh shit! Yeah, they got your ass, huh? Y'all so really I'm just, this, I'm just saying that's shit. just me. I, I I'm going to scream. I, when I get burnt. <laughs> I got burnt. Shit, <laughs> nanny knew. She said, "Hey, got all your ass." All real huh? niggas been burnt once. That's how. That's how we know. Low ain't ain't putting the work in. Got your fucking. be home screaming with the same tone. Uh, no, she don't do uh, that. Uh, she don't do that. Uh, low. Wallow two six seven. She probably tell you what to do like you do. She probably be, any woman could cut look, that look, shit look, on at any look. moment. She probably she probably no, lay in the bed. She probably lay in the bed, open her legs and say, "Go." He running in. Look at the pussy. What you doing? You waiting on me? <laughs> 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 Why? You, how long you been waiting on me? You should be waiting on me. I'm supposed to get to you right when you want me to get to you. You want me to get to you now? Here I come. You ready for Wallow 267? Huh? Is you ready for me? You can get up in the coochie for two seconds. And it's just like All that. women fake it. All women fake it. How many times you fake it on it? I fake it constantly. I fake it so much. What time Why I fake it so much? The dick thing? wasn't even in me. He was like, come on, Damon. I'm like, my bad. Yikes. <laughs> So you faked it the dick I, wasn't in you? Dick wasn't even in. Huh? You faked it in the dick wasn't in I faked it to that point. Oh yeah, God. I've been caught faking it. You faked it in the dick wasn't I've in I've been you. caught faking it because the dick wasn't in. That's what I said. It wasn't in and you faked it on I, you? That's how much she I'm in my bag. Out of pocket, man. Did he take you to go get a meal and all that? Come on, Wilder. Ain't no nigga fucking me without feeding me. Oh, he just got to oh. fuck you to feed you? Stop playing with me. No, I'm just saying, no, the way you said that shit. No, you got to feed it with that shit. Y'all keep putting that shit out here. That's why these niggas talk to me like that in my DM. Y'all bringing me a lot of bullshit. Won't you bring good positive shit to my DM? Like, can I pay you? Can I pay your bills? Yes. Uh, Say that shit. What is the most sexiest thing a man can say to a woman? What's your cash app? Mm, no, no, damn. Well, I got an old head that gives a cash app for a little ass back. All right, hold. Let, let me before I we go into the sponsors. No pussy before we go, before we go into the sponsors, <laughs> what's the top three sexiest, most things that they did school these young cats that they could turn a Number woman one. on with saying three things? What's your cash app? Okay, Number okay. two, would you like to go to the mall? Number three, what size you wear? Oh, first of all, that's all mall therapy shit. That's all. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta pay. Pay for you, Tricking. basically, yeah. Fuck all that. How about, baby, you look beautiful trick. today. Your they feet look like though. you never you walked on. Every nigga sitting here that's tricks. Sh- that's 88, kid. Your, your feet looking like you you're, like you're laid in a baby crib till you was grown, bitch. They take care of bitch. Hey, listen. He just hit some 88 shit. Yeah, baby, I, you know. Let I me mean, make your next move your best move. You dig what I'm saying? Right. I know you motherfucking tired. Why? Your new hey, that's that new Philly hey, nigga hey, jargon. Hey, what, what, hey, what you say to the bomber? How you get her? Who the bomber? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How'd you uh, back uh, able to get her? You back able to get her? You Fuck no. Oh, no. He wanted to act like he wanted to give a promo. He wanted to tell her, I love what you're doing. I've been watching you. I'm going to tell you some real shit. He said, I've been watching you from Philly. I love what you're doing. He said, I do promo for you, though. No, no, no. She's beautiful. She's successful. That's not intimidating. She's beautiful. She's successful. Look, I'm telling you. He this wanted right. in on the this hole. Right. I want to help you break it. He came in last. I do. He came in last. <laughs> Wait that look. As soon as I put the pussy really here, Gilly. Stop having this nigga <laughs> at your memorable moments. Listen. 
This is what happened. Oh, I literally, he wasn't, in, he wasn't in talking about. And it's just like that. He wasn't in talking about how I do pro <laughs> April's beautiful and successful. That seems intimidating. And <laughs> that nigga lied to me. Hey, no, I'm gonna tell you exactly what I did. He wasn't. In, he was wild little wiggle. So give me that pop. He wasn't in, let me, let let me, me tell you the story about wild little wiggle. This is all I did. Hold on, no, no, no. Let me tell you a story about Wildo the Wiggler. Then you can tell your story, all right? No, Wildo the Wiggler. Want that, wait, hold on. Before I go to Wildo the Wiggler, let me knock this spot off, all right? <laughs> he lied on this, me. This, this episode of Barstool, I mean, this episode of Me and I Was Worth a Game, of course, is sponsored by, empowered by Barstool Sports. But it's also, we got uh, Owen's Craft Mixers. You hear me? Sponsored by Owen Craft Mixers. Owen Craft Mixers give anybody the ability to make a high quality cocktail right at home. It's perfect for anyone like you, me, whoever, who who doesn't have a clue how to make cocktails from scratch. You literally just get an Owen mixer with whatever liquor you like to drink and you're good to go. Owen gives you a chance to mix it up at home. They got four different flavors. They got the ginger beer plus lime, plus lime. They got the mint, cucumber, and lime. They got the grapefruit plus lime and they got the tonic water plus lime depending on the liquor you add Owen mixers can create more than 50 different cocktails Owens is 100% non-alcoholic no artificial flavors or sweeteners Owen is available online at www.owenmixers.com or in stores nationwide get 15% off your uh Owen craft mixers by barstool 15 Oacraftmixers.com. Use the bar co- use the code Barstool15 at Oamixers.com. So basically, this man. So basically, man, hold on. So basically, man, these mixers help you make cocktails. You do them right at home. It's so easy. Everything we promote, man, is easy, man. Everything we in on is easy. You know, I got the Owen Craft mixers at home, because like I said, you know, to always want to do cocktails with her girlfriends and you know they, they they experiment and try to make all kinds of drinks at the crib and you know have a good time and you know and turn up so make sure y'all tune in to Owen Craft Mixers man code barstool15 at owenmixers.com now let me tell you about Wild Little Wiggler can I tell them first my Troy, you ain't lie on me I'm gonna break it down let me, let me get this shit off real quick how I got April I go up in the salon I mean I go up in the hair store Baltimore I'm going out there to do some business so when I slide up in there she's talking about oh my god she blessing when she buzz the door oh my god I said chill 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 calm down I pass her <laughs> a bottle of water right she's talking about how did you know I said yes listen baby You've been running through my mind all day, so I know you're tired. I know you needed a drink. That's why I'm here. But what I need you to do, I need you to make your next move, your best move. She said, why is that? Because I said, we're in the same business, baby. I give a pig a wig and give her a gig. So, you know, we're in the hair business. So, you know, that's that's all. This. She's talking about what? I said, let me tell you something, baby. I'm a brain surgeon. I'm actually a doctor. Did you, why why you say that? Because I'm going to get your mind right in every place you need to be in your life. You dig what I'm saying? So what you need to do is you need to get with Philadelphia Slim, and we're going to go to the next level together. Your name Check Wallow, it. nigga. No, 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 no. When I, when and you I'm, love her. That's a lie. What happened? Okay, mommy, tell me. Thank everything. you. Okay, he said, cuz, I got to go down to Baltimore. Wild Little Wiggler. Ride with me to Baltimore. I'm like, okay, Wild Little Wiggler. What are we going down to Baltimore for? I'm thinking he got to go pick a checkup. This nigga we pull up. Some money. This nigga pull up to the east side of Baltimore. He got me sitting in the car and shit. Big Body Prius. Niggas keep walking by. The Big Body Prius. <laughs> niggas, niggas, with me, talking, nigga. niggas keep talking about, yo, that's Gilly. Yo, Gilly. Yo. I see niggas, they over he here. He gets scared, corner. he run up in the salon. Like, Gilly over there, no, because you got me. I'm thinking, but this pussy set me up. Fuck <laughs> this nigga, drop me off fucking the block in Bal- East you. Baltimore, and he just got me sitting in the car. Oh, the whole the time, corner. he go in there to see April. He go in there as Wallow the Wiggler. He go in there, yeah, I see what you're doing out here. You know, I support black brands. You know, that's what I do. I go around and I, I put black print, uh, he black on brands him. on a major on a major platform. You know what I'm saying? I just like how you moving out here. You a sister. You know what I mean? You doing your <laughs> thing. You know, he wiggled his <laughs> whole way into that situation. All to say, go ahead and put your number in this phone, man. Let me call you when you get some time. Man. And she gave you the number? Yeah. Well, you so are listen, handsome, but you didn't say that. So listen, he did not deny any of the wiggler shit. I said she gave he did it. He did deny the wiggler. I told her, I said, didn't want that. I was like that. You said, did she give you the number? Yeah, she gave me the number. She's still around, ain't she? Yeah. 
and, when's the wedding and, and listen and they first the first ask them the first so, place they ever went was the first place you ever went she took him to disneyland no 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 fucking goofy no i took it to disneyland <laughs> oh, i took it to disneyland and i went down there to meet goofy i really was going down there to meet goofy but just what happened we was going together goofy is a legend he was a legend he was always one of the greatest. I had to go down there and meet Goofy, get me a Goofy hat. He was like, I've never been to Disneyland. And he, they, at first date, they went to Dis, they went to uh, Disney. What is it called? Disney World? Yeah, Disney World. Florida. They went to Disney World. Player shit. Yeah. That's sweet. That's when she realized she had a real live Goofy. They're happy. Shout out to April and Wallow. She loves them. The she wedding did. soon. Let me ask y'all a question. What's the, uh, if basketball was in hip hop, who your starting five? Hmm? My starting five is me. Right? I'm doing Snoop at center. Right? I'm pushing the point. I'm doing Snoop at center. My motherfucking, my, my two guard is Lil Dirk. My small forward is G Herbo. And my power forward is. is G Herbo trash. I tried playing when I was in Chicago. He my power forward, two listen, chains. Uh, listen, all right. Give me that five. We 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 beating any five. I'm telling you, rappers hit, 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 on mine, hit on mine right here. Me, two chains, Snoop, G Herbo, they fucked up and Lil Dirk. The you, only thing you could do is just get get them they drinks. You the fuck out of here. You watch the bump. Fuck out of here from the rip. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about people when they in their prime. I ain't talking about where they at now. I'm like, I'm taking Cameron. No, no, listen. I'm taking Cam. I'm taking. I'm game. talking about now, nigga. Yeah, game. I'm, ta I'm, I'm taking. Game. It don't matter. We just talking. Snoop is older dude too. So listen, I'm taking. I'm taking Cameron. I'm taking Game. I'm taking Master P. Master P played in the league. We talk about now. No, no, Master P played in the league. I don't Ma give a fuck. Master P ain't gonna make it up the court right now. See, you're not gonna make it up the court Shit. right now. Shit. You keep hyping your bum ass games. You Shit. All right, whatever. Uh, 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 I'm uh, the best rapper ever played basketball. Quavo. Damn. They hyped Quavo up, but I seen his game and it wasn't that spectacular. You know what I mean? Uh, who else? It ain't that many people, man. I'm taking Shaq. No, Shaq. No, yeah, I'm taking Shaq. Shaq had a rap album out. I'm taking Shaq. Y'all done. Y'all niggas done. I'm taking Shaq. He had a rapper. No He's a rapper. You can't he, take no Shaq. He had album, he went platinum. No, 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 no. You can't Nigga take no Shaq. Nigga went platinum. I'm okay, taking Shaq. Fuck it. I'm doing my five over. I'm taking no, Dave can't, Lillard. No, you, I'm taking motherfucker. I'm taking all of hey, NBA hey, niggas hey, that rap. Fuck you. I get AI. No, I get AI. No, you can't. I get Kobe. And I get Kobe. No, 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 no. Because listen, Kobe got me. No, you can't. Ain't Kobe the music? Yeah, but you can't take AI. That's my man. That's why we're here. You can't take it. Fuck out of here. He fucked the whole list up, man. Because you picked you. Hey, you give me that, my starting five, I'm good. No, you pick, you can't be, use a fucking bum. You keep trying to put your name up. Why you keep trying to put your, every time you He was almost an 87er. Oh, let the record reflect. He was almost an 87er. I went out for an NBA G League team at 40, dog, and I damn near made it. I made the first cut, dog. It was a Z League, but. Listen, listen, it was the G League. No, that's a group. Z, G, same thing. It was an older nigga group. Stop tapping on me. No, no, no. First of all, first of all, just for the record, just for the record, people who play for the for the for the Delaware 87ers play for the Sixers as well. Did you know that? No. They brought him there just just. You know, old he dude, was rough this dude. fucking close. He was on a warm-up team. That's it. But listen, he was this he close. Wasn't on the team. And that he was, was two years team. ago. <laughs> he still got it. But let me just say this though. I gotta. I just gotta clear something up. Don't y'all know the bull, the old head? Y'all young bulls don't know what's going on. The old head to tell you about all this shit he was back in the day. <laughs> yeah, I had all the money. <laughs> I had the bins. Ask your mom about me. That's this. Bum ass rapper, athlete ass. Women dude. hate that. He fellas. always talking about this shit that nobody know. You somebody get mentioned. Yeah, man, I remember when Snoop dropped this joint. Dropped. Oh yeah, I dropped my joint too. <laughs> nobody know you don't. You didn't sell no fucking records. You didn't even go wood in the hood. So he keep talking about some fucking. Damn. No, no, because listen, that shit pissed me off. Because he always trying to drop his name with somebody when I'm talking about somebody. First of all, the number two rap single in the country in for the 17 country, weeks straight. 17 weeks. Stop, stop, stop putting smut on my number jacket. Number two ain't one. Get so down, down on the ain't ground. Number two ain't one. Get but down it's number on the two. ground. But, but, fuck is you talking about? And, and then he got a groupie over here that's so hype about. I just like Major Figures. No, you keep hyping this fucking bum up. He was nobody in the rap industry. Man. When I was in eighth shit. grade, Major Figures was big deal. <laughs> where are they now? He wanna where are they now, motherfucker? <laughs> shit, he on the motherfucking podcast. No, but still, his yeah, rap. still no, out the here. Fuck is his raps now? He ain't gonna get mentioned. They're gonna Come be like, on. he gonna he gonna get like not even a whole mention in in, in the segment. Hey, fucking bum ass rapper. Fuck you, hold on, fuck you mean where where's my raps at now? <laughs> Your whole fame, his whole rap <laughs> history, his whole claim to fame is is that he got kicked off Cash Money. No, no, hold on, let me just. That's all you this. know for you. Fucking first nut. of all, let me just tell you this. Let me just tell you this. I right? hate that if shit. You still to this day, still to these day, 
these niggas can't fuck with me. See, he still want to. He want. He want to get into a battle with some young. What's wrong with you? Let me battle a young. You, boy. you fucking right. You still got it. Because let me tell you something. Sometimes you know when Jordan came back for Washington, he ain't come back because he had to. He came back because he had the point to prove. You niggas can't fuck with me, man. I'm gonna get fuck. I'm, I'm at Washington. All right, we'll spit some. Fuck spit something. Fuck this. Spit something. Spit something. You fucking spit some. I get paid to do this shit. Oh, fuck I ain't shit. I spit some. Go ahead. Then. Nigga was getting two hundred dollars a show at his prom. If you were a player, you it. get it nigga down bunch, like a nigga, player. Nigga said he bought. Nigga said he bought a motherfucking city tour for three fifty. I take three fifty. I do fifteen shows. He fucking nobody. Yeah, like he was. Yeah, I had me bookings. Yeah, people y'all be booking. Can't, y'all won't. Y'all can't. Here, y'all <laughs> won't. <laughs> this nigga was taking. This nigga was doing shows for platters and shit. Listen, I'm gonna give you all. The, we gonna we go, we go cater the dressing room. Can y'all I get a dressing can't room? Fuck with the fig. Can I get a hotel room? No, you can stay in the dressing room. You can stay there overnight. The joint behind the, in the club. You can just stay in the joint. We gonna lock. It off all this dumb hey, ass shit. Hey, shit that. hey, that's fucked up coming from the three time penitentiary state champion in the talent show. No, 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 no. So, what that's a different story, yeah. I mean, it's all good. That nigga, that nigga boy, he put a lot of smut on my fucking name today. Did he, he say I got packs of cigarettes? So, nigga put a lot of smut on my fucking name today. Hey, man, let's get into hold on first, man. Let's get my man Tony. The, the tackler. Did we change? Did we officially change this shit? Tony, Tony the tackler. Did the we closer, baby. Did we change this shit to triple oh, T? No, he put on his page. He was tackling motherfuckers. The, uh, ah, <laughs> he had the dreads. That's when he had the dreads and all that shit. Yo, yo yeah, I'm going yeah. to keep it all oh, being real. She's talking about, oh, yeah, I like that. You would have played these dreads if he said dreads. Hey, I'm going to keep it all being real. Tone. Tone on the motherfucker. He posted his college pictures. Tone was on steroids, too. He was on steroids. He had veins popping out his neck. He had these big ass dreads. He was on something. He had a dead eye then. He got his eye fixed. I don't know what the fuck happened. Tony was on some bullshit, man. Tony the tackler. Motherfucker. Tony put up a picture. He looked rough. He looked rough. He looked rough. College bitch. That's the fuck. like he was snorting steroids. He was snorting steroids. The whole bottle. Ah. He put a pencil book. I said, what the fuck wrong with Tone? Ah, he like this in college. He looking like d shit. Nigga shooting up in his neck. He got drunk. Ah. <laughs> oh, you niggas on me now. Dog, I All said, right, what man. the fuck, though, Tone? But you look funny as shit in that college picture you put up. I said, the fuck wrong with Tony? Ah, he like this and shit. <laughs> fuck Tone get took, took too many hits in the motherfucking college or something. The fuck no going CTE, on? No CTE, I'm good. Yeah, man, but you was tackling motherfuckers. Motherfuckers was tackling you. He exactly. got when he tackled the quarterback. He <laughs> <laughs> tackled the quarterback. That's how he knew he was shooting roids up. That's why he really got kicked bro, out of the league. Hey, look, bro, look, you got D two All American, bro. Every year, four years running. Oh, every year. Well, all, right. all American. You D and Z I mean? the same, sound the same. Hey, look, it's all good, bro. All American every year. Put some respect on my name. Mm, okay. Yeah, that's he what's up. Yeah. Cool. That's what's up. Usually D two niggas don't take roids, so he had an up on them. Oh, D two <laughs> niggas like me. He was roided. Yeah. Like D two niggas like, like no, me. I'm gonna crush the league. league. Everybody, everybody gonna know me. <laughs> I'm Tony the Tackler. Hey, the Destroyer. See, see, I it was, told you it was something it, like real, that. Real talk. They call me the Destroyer. Look it up. Google it, bro. Tony the Destroyer. The Destroyer, <laughs> man. Oh, okay. Well, shit. Well, right now you're destroying this real estate shit. Killing the game. Yeah, I mean, I give it to you, man. You got the Rona proof each and every motherfucking Sunday at three o'clock where you could tap in with Tony and he break down. Tell him what you do, <clears throat> man. Yeah, man. So uh, wholesaling real estate right now, I think is it's so important right now to get in the real estate game. We got a lot of people right now. With, with, we got forty five million people right now that have what uh, filed for unemployment. Mm-hmm. It's the highest unemployment rates ever, meaning that it's going to be a lot of distressed sellers. More properties going to be available because like what's happening is. People can't pay their mortgage. Right. So people can't pay their rent, which means the landlords can't pay their uh, mortgage payments. Right. right? It's, just a, it's a chain effect that's going to happen. And essentially what's going to happen is going to be a lot of properties that hit the market. And we're, we're wholesaling. The whole idea is that we don't have to have credit, money, or anything to get started. So we basically going to pr- uh, put those properties under contract so that contract can get paid. So what's so, my first step I want to get in through you? I come to your page and then what? So. Uh, you can uh, text 919-822-8525. Text mm-hmm. Rona Proof to that number. Uh, you gonna, I'm going to send you a link, a direct link to the training. The training is uh, 100% free for the uh, Sunday class. Uh, I also have a course, but the Sunday class, I'll actually walk through the 10 steps, how somebody can get started. You don't need credit. 
you can do it from anywhere in the world because right now I, y'all, y'all podcast everywhere people hit me up from united kingdom and all these different places like yo i want to do the rona proof too i seen you on a podcast so yeah if you even if you don't live physically in the united states this is something that you can do you can do uh all this without once again no credit no license needed mm-hmm. so yeah definitely no when you look at this i i, I google tony the tackler <laughs> and a wrestler came up then i went farther in and we got tony the closer right here two time listen first of all 2004 ciaa defensive player of the year candidate 2004 all-american candidate 2004 all ciaa candidate i mean they say and he, he really called him to destroy him. Destroy, nickname to no destroy. Story, man to no story man Hey, hey, go look at all those player of the weeks, man. I played my first 20 games in college. I was player of the week 15 times. Damn. Mm. But when we, the, the the first Tony, to, listen, when I said Tony to, uh, to destroy. a fat white wrestler. A black that. guy, an old wrestler. <laughs> oh, that was a fat, oh, he black, man. He looked white on the joint. Damn. Black wrestler Tony to And listen, I've been on live with him when people dropping they real amounts that they making. It was a lady on here said she made 103,000 motherfucking yeah. dollars. A oh, real yeah, person. Yeah, I went no, to the no. bitch page. She was for real. No, did she making the money? Oh, yeah. First, but it's hey, legit, yeah, it, y'all. It, it, ain't, it ain't no cap. <laughs> so let me ask y'all a question. What y'all listening to? Me right now, Westside Gun new album. I'm checking that out. I'm listening to a young kid. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, Trench Baby. That's my thing out of mm-hmm. Philly, man. I mean, man, I'm seen, listening seen to that little Dirk. You know, I'm mean? listening to uh, um, G Herbo. I mm-hmm. throw some mac and cheese in. Um, mac and cheese. I like yes. the uh, man. I really like that song Kevin Gates and uh, Tory Lanez got out, man. They was running that shit. Shout out to Tory Lanez and Kevin Gates. Your boy say little baby yet? Always little yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah. I listen to little baby too. With me. You know what I mean? Shout out to little baby and Forty Two Doug. Right? I've been listening to Forty Two Doug. Period. That dog food. Diamond Street That's King. My I'm shit. listening. Oh, I'm listening. It's a lot of Philly boys. Uh, mm-hmm. I'll be checking out uh, the J Huff, Diamond Street King, Zig Money, mm-hmm. Black Poppy. Leaf it's a lot War. of Leaf War. It's just, so uh, handsome. Mama Such a singer. handsome rapper. Pound South Pop. It's just a bunch of. Such a handsome fucking deep. rapper. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm Nipsey. 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 Always Nipsey. Nipsey. Always. Nipsey. Always. I, I got Nip all the time. I always know that. You know what I mean? And, 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 I'll be, and, I, and one of my favorite songs is Niggas Saying They Outside. Outside. Oh, yeah. That's the shit. So now that we going to Did y'all listen to the new <laughs> Pop Smoke that just dropped? Popping that shit and they know what to smoke. Yeah. Big Pop kind of missed me on that one. But, you know, he wasn't here to really make sure shit was right. But I ain't really feeling the Pop Smoke joint. Oh, you know, shout out Unpopular opinion. R.I.P. Pop Smoke, though. Yeah, R.I.P. to Pop Smoke. I didn't get a chance to check it out, but I'll tell you if the bitch tripping next week. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Bitch might be out of pocket like a pistol in a robbery. If I'm right, then what? Then I'll tell you you was right. Yeah, Listen he to ain't that there Mozzie to, album to too. fucking yeah, finish Yeah, shout it. out to Mozzie too, man. And, but I listen to a lot of independent artists, you know what I mean? A lot of niggas who, who going to be famous a year or two years from now. So I show a lot of them some love. But... uh Let's get into Million Dollars Worth of Game, man. This Million Dollars Worth of Game, I ain't going to take a whole lot of time, man. I just want to tell all the up-and-coming artists, man, put the, round, put the right people around you, man. Surround yourself around the right people, man, so that you can win, man. And if your homies ain't the right people, that's cool. You just got to start loving your homies You can't always say that. I'm your cousin, and I was your first manager. Uh, I'm the first nigga that took you to the studio. I'm the first dude, like, so you can't. Sometimes it could be cool, and sometimes it could be wrong. Like, like, but, but, but everybody had a role. When we started right. major figures, my thing was all the, the studio shit, the getting logos done. Everybody got to play a part. You know what I mean? And we play. He, you right. Know. So if you got a person that's around you that's not, they don't got no role. But to I play, was your first manager. Let me fuck you up. Yes, I if was. If you got a, a partner around you who who. The niggas around you who don't know what role they gonna play and ain't got no role to play and they just hang around niggas. You need to get some different. I got a, I got a confession. You, I got a confession to make too. What? You remember uh, when we did that block party? We was rapping at that block party back in the day. But, it yeah. was a couple, but yeah. the joint down north. Uh, I got some money for that show and I didn't pay. I just told you it was for a Damn. <laughs> I just had to let you know that, man. But you wasn't you wasn't strong enough yet to be able to understand the business side. So I was just like, come on, we gotta do this joint, man. I got this joint. He got wow. dressed and everything. Come on, I gotta put that shit on. We went down to the block party. Fuck that block party up to. They was on that shit. <laughs> you kept on them. Yeah, I had to. He, he wasn't he wasn't even like he wasn't on the level to get no fucking money at that time. He just was I'm taking him to the studio. I had to pay studio bills and shit like that. So I didn't, I didn't give him nothing. That's but the type cool. of manager. That's what he's trying to say. The type of niggas you got around. <laughs> right. To see what I'm saying. I look how karma work. God sent him right to jail. He burnt his cousin. You ain't shit. <laughs> yeah, took gas to jail. All that time for burning. <laughs> yeah, for burning. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh. Uh, the funky ass little two hundred. Nah, ain't gonna you ain't give me my little bean, huh? No, you were supposed to get two hundred. So how four. much you get? Damn. <laughs> so, you, so you kept the whole four back there. You know, I knew them dudes, man. They was D boys anyway. We, you know, I knew all the dealers. They was like, "Come through, baby." I said, "All right, bet." Cause we was high. You remember we had to take. I passing. They was like, "Yo, this shit hot." Yeah, he was four hundred. You burnt me. I burnt the shit out of you. Should they had fire you insurance? At least bomb something to eat. No, he ain't mean that. He was cool. Hey, hey, but to all the youngins out there, man, put the right people around you so that you can win, man. You know what I'm saying? And I'm tired of seeing you youngins running around here. Y'all ain't got no videographer. Y'all ain't got nobody filming y'all shit. Y'all not putting no content out. Listen, man, there's a lot of youngins out here that I want to see win. And y'all got the talent, but y'all not doing everything that y'all need, that y'all need to do to win so to all the youngins out there please man surround yourself around the right people so that y'all are able to be great man and y'all able to take this shit to a different level and y'all able to move your mama and your family out of the ghetto and understand that life is bigger than that 10 block radius that you you, you keep yourself in you feel what i'm saying that's the best game i can get y'all today let's get into stories from a cell stories from the cell i'm gonna tell you about the first time i was ready to take lock up in jail I was in the yard and um, I don't know what transpired, what happened, but I was walking the track and I just seen an arm in the air with a 10 pound weight. <laughs> and when it came down, it was like, you just heard this. It was just crazy. It was like, you knew it was on. It was like, man, that boy grabbed his head and tried to run that boy, hit him with another joint in his face, wham. I screamed inside. It was something to me that screamed like a white woman in a scary movie. <laughs> I was afraid in jail. I was at, listen, I was in jail and I was like, this shit, and it was early in the bit. I was scared. I was like, oh shit. Now, you know, and then you don't know, you, you, you fresh in the joint, you don't know who, you don't know what happened, you don't know the people, so you can't find out what really, because you ain't really talking to too many people. You just was like, yo, man. The, the, the facial expression that came across that dude's face, Cause I wasn't that far away from them. Like walking the track, they was like right near the gym. And I'm like, yo man, the facial expression was, I'm about to die in two minutes. It was death, like death, like life escaped his ass when he hit him with that weight. And the only thing I could think of, how can I slide my ass in PC? Mm. You dig what I'm saying? He hit him that hard, you want to go protective custody? Yeah, that's, that was my first thought. But my rep was on the line. Mm -hmm. The first thing that came to my mind was like, yo, Fuck that, I can't be around this crazy shit. This shit is crazy. Like, cause a lot of people say, like like a lot of people, I'm built like that, I can handle prison and all that shit. You never experienced prison to talk about what you can handle. Mm -hmm. Till you get to that motherfucker and you realize that you just locked in there, you ain't going nowhere. And like, violence is on a whole nother fucking level in there. Cause you can't run, you can't hide unless you go to PC. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was trying to go ahead in my mind. I was like, damn, how can I get in PC? You want a pussy city, huh? <laughs> I was like, man, this shit is real, man. It was like, because when you see somebody get hit with a 10-pound weight, and that shit is like. Okay, so the first time you seen a person get stabbed. That was after that. The motherfucker was stabbing the motherfucker. So you was already time. traumatized. But. Listen, the motherfucker was stabbing the motherfucker so vicious. It looked like the blade was going through him, hitting the ground, and sparks was flying up under his back. He just <laughs> was like, poof, poof, poof. And the knife was so big, it's like he took a piece of the bed, the metal from the bunk bed. Like, that shit was just so big. And I was like. And the motherfucker like had that shit wrapped around his hand like he wasn't let, and that motherfucker was screaming and hollering and, and the guard seen it. The guard ain't run up on that shit. The guard stood down. Oh. You don't hear that motherfucker hollering? No, they ain't trying to run up on that. They wait till you get busy, finish getting busy. And then he just kept standing on top of him, pull a joint out, motherfucker, did not tell you motherfucker? I told you mother, I don't know what it was about, man. I don't know if it was about a boy, you know what I mean? Or some smokes or I don't know what the fuck or some shit on the street. I don't know. You just knew you wasn't fucking with that nigga with that blade in his hand. I just knew that I was getting, uh, my speed, the way I was walking the track, got far because all the shit I seen happened in the yard. <laughs> my track game, just imagine Hussein Bolt or Jesse Owens speed walking. <laughs> <laughs> and you trying to keep cool like the shit you just seen you built for, but at the same time you crying inside. You like, oh my God, mom, please. This shit ain't supposed to be funny, people. It's real though. <laughs> <laughs> damn so man. you was power walking god the damn i was power walking with like fear. you saying bolt power walking that's what i was said. power walking with fear <laughs> and it was just scary because it was like at the end of the day you just be like man what the fuck man i ain't signed up for this shit i ain't know what's gonna be <laughs> <laughs> like this no because i was one of the only motherfuckers in jail 
that'll say some scary shit to the homies because it was scary shit that I wasn't just thinking. I know they was thinking and they won't say it. I'm like, yo, you see that boy stabbing? Man, shit. I ain't, come, I ain't going to the yard for a week. <laughs> Them niggas be like, wow, you crazy as shit. But none of y'all niggas went to the yard for a week either. I'm just already what it's going to say like, yo, man, straight up. This nigga is crazy. Damn, man. Like Straight up. Cause listen, let me explain something to you. We're not I wasn't supposed to dude, laugh. I wasn't the dude trying to be in jail, trying to be super tough. Because if you got two motherfuckers that's, that's faking, that they, faking each other out that they tough, they going to fake each other out to try to kill each other. So you, you both bluffing. Y'all both want some fake tough shit. So now you tough, I'm tough. I can't let nobody see that I'm really not tough, that I'm really scared. And I'm, 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 a, I'm a scary white woman inside screaming like in a, in a movie. So I can't let you see that. You think, it, oh, do we see the white woman in me? Do he see the white woman in me? So now let's have a stab off. Let's kill each other. So right. now y'all, somebody to die because niggas is too scared. <laughs> niggas is afraid to be like, I'm really, I'm really scared. <laughs> to, yeah, so to be honest. Like, Yo, I'm scared. <laughs> to be scared in a place <laughs> told, where you're supposed to be scared. I told, listen, I told my one homie that shit. He was dying. I said, yo, so we come back from the yard. So, you know, people be in different sections in the yard. So when we come back from the yard, we walk into the day room. You know, people going to get bored and all that. So. I'm walking. I'm having a little drink of water. I'm, 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 I'm keeping it together. I'm keeping it composed. <laughs> but I already broke down like a, like a, like a, like a white woman in the game with Finn. You know what I mean? I mean, so so now my homies come in. This that third, and what I'm saying, damn, wow, you see him scared? Damn, that shit was. Because one of them came in there and he allowed me to open up because he said it with the deep shit. That's fucked up. He just aired the boy out there, and I was like, man, I was like, I'm scared to death. I'm scared. <laughs> He was like, you scared? I was like, man, I'm scared, man. I, I, I just want to go lay down, man. Chill. And then, you know I just want to go lay down. I want to go write a letter. <laughs> I want to read a book. I don't, don't want to be tough no more. I don't want to be a criminal no more. I just <laughs> so, so it's just that, that moment that hits you where you realize, like, it's cool to be scared. I was scared, and I was, I'm glad that I was scared because it, I didn't take myself out that I wasn't, and I would have been a tough guy. Something, something dangerous probably would have happened to me. How the fuck you think I made it through jail all them years? Being scared. <laughs> fuck is the matter? Oh, for real down. though, you a survivor. I don't want to go lay down though. I want to lay down. I did go lay down. I went there, laid down. I fluffed my pillow up. I took my jacket off. You know what I mean, right? Listen, I put my little shorts on and I, and I laid down in the bed. I, I laid down in the bed I'm and I done, just fucked the pillow. <laughs> Fuck that. We appreciate y'all for tuning in each scared, other week. Go to bars, man. do sports, get <laughs> y'all some being Oscar for game merch. I'm I scared go right now. I'm Wallow267. I'm Don't Call Me White Girl. I'm scared. It's only the closer. <laughs> it's just only the- Right!